Hi y'all, welcome back to my bathroom. I am excited to share with you guys the Flawless in Five. And what the Flawless in Five is, it's six clean makeup items from Beauty Counter to give you a flawless look in five minutes. This video will be longer than five minutes because I'm gonna be talking and I'm gonna be showing you all the options. But when I truly do this every day, it takes me about like three or four minutes. I can get it done in a flash. And it makes me feel really put together. So you get choices along the way. And the first choice is a complexion choice. So you can choose between the Dew Skin, which is our 20 SPF tinted moisturizer. It's gonna give you pretty minimal coverage, basically just brighten up the face, even out the skin tone, and give you that SPF protection that we really should be using every day. Or you can use our Skin Twin, which is our new foundation this year, well, 2020. Um, and it's gonna be a medium to full coverage. It does not have SPF, um, but it has tons of skincare benefits. So it has hyaluronic acid, which is plumping. It's gonna help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles as you wear it and over time. So it really is a blend of skincare and makeup. I'm gonna show you the coverage of the Dew Skin first, and then I'm gonna show you the Skin Twin over top. Oftentimes I will layer them, that way I can get the SPF coverage that I need from the Dew Skin, but the coverage that I want from the Skin Twin. So here is the Dew Skin. I wear shade light if you're needing a color, like a color um, reference, but you can also send me a picture of yourself in natural light and I can help color match you. So you can see, um, you can still see a few like blemishes or spots kind of shining through. My under eyes still look a little bit dark. Um, so I'll show you what one layer of Skin Twin on top of that looks like. I just normally do about a pump, maybe a pump and a half on the back of my hand. If you like fuller coverage, just use your hands to apply it. I love our new Better Blender, so this is what I use to apply it. You want to start in the middle of your face and kind of feather it out because we really want the most coverage in the center of our face where most women tend to get a little bit red. Beauty Counter does have an amazing vitamin C serum that helps with redness if that's something that you struggle with. So I'm just kind of blending this out. I love to use the flat edge or the rounded edge for that, either one. And then this precision tip is really nice for concealer. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more. One of the downsides to using a sponge is it does absor absorb some of the product. Um, so using your finger can help your product to last a little bit longer too. But I like the finish that I get when I use a blender of some sort. Always bring it down your neck so that you don't get that line. Nobody wants a line. But we should also have a foundation that matches so closely that you shouldn't be able to tell. And we have 18 different shades, so odds are we can definitely find a match for you. Okay, and I normally put my foundation over my eyelids as well. So that is the first choice in the Flawless and Five. The second thing you get with the Flawless and Five is a concealer. And this is our new packaging concealer. Comes in this beautiful glass tube. You can see how much product you have left. And it has this um, applicator where product comes on both sides. So this is shade light two. I like a little bit under my eyes for brightening. You only get one concealer option. I just happen to use two different shades since I'm a consultant and I'm a little bit extra. Um, so I put medium one anywhere I need just a tad bit more coverage. If you feel like your concealer needs to be a little bit more coverage, a tip is to just let it sit for a minute and you can do that with any concealer. It makes it a little bit more tacky and we'll have a little bit more coverage. I like to just blend my concealer in with my finger so that I get the most coverage because that's probably where I need more coverage if I'm using concealer. So I'm just gonna blend that in. And this really gives you a flawless finish for your face. No matter if you're using the Dew Skin or the Skin Twin, the addition of the concealer where you need extra coverage, I find that both give me enough coverage. I just like the Skin Twin for like a date night or special occasions and the Dew Skin is kind of my everyday. And like I mentioned, it's nice to have the SPF. So sun damage is the number one cause of aging. So using an SPF every day to prevent the aging before it even happens is the best bet. 
Okay, next is brows. So we have either a brow pencil or a brow gel. A lot of people think they don't need a brow option. I, you can see I have pretty thick brows, but I still find that a brow option helps frame my face. And I'm gonna show you the gel on one side and the pencil on the other. So I'm just gonna be looking into the camera for this. So for the pencil, just draw a line at the bottom and then use short hair-like strokes to fill in any gaps that you might have. You can probably get a little bit better precision if you need to draw your brows on more than a gel will let you. The pencil will last longer also. I've had this pencil for almost two years. If you use it every single day, I don't think it would last quite that long. And then there's a spoolie on the other end. So just brush through so that they look a little bit more natural. And you can tell that really framed my face and got rid of that sparse area in the front. And for our brow gels, we have three color options, light, medium, and dark. And then we also have a clear option, but you can see it kind of just grabs onto the hairs that are there and fills in the spots where I'm missing some. And then I'll just brush through and hold all the hairs down. If you have great brows and you still want the Flawless M5, just opt for the clear brow gel option just to hold your hairs down. So you can see a very similar effect the brow gel is faster in my opinion, but it runs out quicker too. Okay, one, two, three. Fourth option is a mascara. So you get either the lengthening, which comes in this smaller tube, and you can see that the wand is pretty small. I prefer the volumizing. Both are not waterproof and both are clay-based, so they will work a little bit better if you warm them up first. I find that I get it to work pretty well without warming it up first. So you can stick it in your bra or maybe in your um, waistband of your pants. I know some people who even put it in a warm cup of water while they're getting the rest of their face ready. So I just focus it on the outer corner here to really give me that curled look and just wiggle it through. You can see what a difference just one coat of this volumizing mascara makes. So mascara can have some pretty nasty ingredients in it. And um, I personally have a friend who thought she couldn't wear contacts and come to find out she was allergic to all her makeup. And it was even high-end makeup like MAC. And once she started wearing beauty counter, she was able to wear her contacts again. So even things like Teflon are commonly found in mascara. So um, it's hard to formulate a safe mascara. And this is one of the best that I have found. So that was one coat. Okay, next is blush, which is my favorite. I'm a total blush gal. Um, I'm gonna save my favorite shade for last and that's what we're gonna use today. So one of the most popular shades is Nectar. You can see it's well loved. It's a peach shade with a little bit of sheen. And then we have um, Melon, which is very similar to Nectar, but it's a matte, so a melon matte. And then I have Guava, which is this beautiful pink shade. It looks really bold, but it wears beautifully. And then my favorite shade for these colder months is Date. It's a beautiful like rust terracotta. And I want you to see how little I have to dip in to get really good color payoff. So a little bit goes a long way with these blushes. If I was doing like the pink or the melon, I would just keep it on the apples of my cheek. Because this is almost like a bronzy shade, I like to bring it back and maybe even put a little bit on my forehead, almost like a contour. I would not do that with pink or coral. Another thing you could do with a shade like this is you could even use this as like a little bit of a crease definer since this Falls and Five doesn't come with an eye shadow just to give your eyes a little bit of definition. So it helps you just get a little more bang for your buck with the products. So I didn't mention the price. So all these products are, if you bought them individually, all six products would be 187 but because they're bundled in the Flawless M5, they're discounted to 150 which is a pretty incredible discount when you think about switching this many products over to high-end and safer. So colored products are often, often companies will test their ingredients at the beginning and then they'll manufacture the pro product and then they don't test again. But in the process of making a colored product like a blush or a gloss or an eyeshadow, there can be heavy metal contamination. And heavy metals are detrimental to our health. They can cause things like Alzheimer's, 
um, and other kind of diseases. So we wanna make sure that whatever products we're using don't contain heavy metals. Beauty Counter tests every single batch of colored products three times, and they make sure that that final product is below, it's well below the United States um, threshold. Um, so just keep that in mind. All beauty products are not created equal. And I showed y'all this, or I used this brush earlier for my blush. Beauty Counter brushes, the bristles go all the way through the handle. So if you are used to using different brushes and you're putting your makeup on and they're shedding, that will never happen with these because the bristles go all the way to the end. Okay, the sixth and final product is a gloss. Our glosses have um, sustainably sourced vanilla from a woman-owned company in Madagascar. And any product that we have that is shimmery, there is a, there's an ingredient called mica that makes products shimmery. And mica is a safe ingredient, but the way it is sourced, it has to be mined. And oftentimes you will find children and forced labor working in these mines. And to me, for us to have shimmery products, a child missing out on school and being as young as four years old, mining that material, it's not okay. So Beauty Counter did on the ground audits for every place we source mica to ensure that that's not happening. So this lip gloss just means so much to me because the vanilla, number one, it smells incredible, but I know that the vanilla and the mica are coming from a safe place. We really take care of everyone up and down the supply chain. We don't just make sure that the ingredients are safe for the end user. We want everyone to be taken care of. So our glosses can be anywhere from sheer to bold. You really can choose what you want. I love a bold gloss. This is called raspberry. And it just helps me feel put together for the day. I'm ready for a Zoom meeting. I'm ready for errands or anything else that I have to do for the day. So that's the flaws in five. Foundation option, concealer, brows, mascara, gloss, and, oh, do I have enough hands? Blush. So really beautiful products, $150 bundled. Um, the website is very interactive. So you can go on the website, choose a shade that you think you are, and you can look at different models with that skin tone and different blushes on, different glosses on. You can also send me a picture and I can help make sure that we get the right match for you, for your foundation and your concealer. Once you choose the foundation and concealer on the website, it'll put a little heart next to the blush that would look best with your skin tone or the gloss that would look best with your skin tone. You can deviate from those, but it's nice to know that they um, know what would look best with your skin tone if you're not quite sure. So let me know if y'all have any questions. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.